so this is Closet Crew. Um, the leader for this group is Marisha, and they'll tell you more about their closet app. Enjoy. Good morning, Sharks. Today we're going to be presenting our app called Closet. It is a clothing app, and we have Jordan, who's going to be providing the product overview. Wilson, who's going to be providing the technical aspects. Jamie is going to be doing the industry overview, and I will be doing the marketing and financial aspects. Hey, Sharks. Have you guys ever noticed that styles from the past eras always seem to be resurfacing in a modern day fashion? Things like, you know, bell bottoms from the 70s, ripped jeans from the 80s, chokers from the 90s. <laughs> Have you ever had a problem replicating these styles with the, you know, clothes in your closet? Everybody, everybody, <laughs> everybody wants to look fashionable or cool, but, you know, still keep their own style. And that's why you guys need closets. Closet is an outfit generating app that we have designed um, to keep you looking in style 24-7. We, uh, our outfit generating algorithm, algorithms uh, draw inspiration from Vogue magazine, which has been around since 1892, and Glamour magazine, which has been around since 1939. We truly believe that Closet will be the next big clothing app, and that's why we're asking for 75000 for 5%. Hello, I'm doing the project description of our application. Our application closet is a revolutionary fashion app that's going to change the industry for sure. As you can see, our application is on iOS 10. iOS is an iPhone uh, operating system, so it's going to have to be on iOS 10 or newer. So it's going to be for newer devices. Uh, the category is lifestyle, so for lifestyle, lifestyle clothing, so being able to choose your clothing that you want and incorporate into your daily life. The compatibility is right now is going to be iPhone 7, 8, and 10, so it's going to be on the newer devices like I mentioned. Language, primarily right now, is going to be English, just because of our software development team. It's going to be easier for them to work on that. Uh, the size of our application is only 9.3 megabytes, so it's just the base application, so it's a lot of things that's going to be cloud-based in the Amazon Web Services. So let's take a look at it. So this is what our application will look like if you were using it on your phone. As you can see right here, we do have a splash page. The splash page is intended to show, kind of show what the product is before you are signing in. So we go ahead, you kind of look over it. So keep your clothes organized, let your style be the inspiration. So go on to the next one. Uh, it does give us a free three-day trial. We do have a monthly subscription for our application. It's $7 monthly. If you monthly subscription. If you choose to do the yearly subscription, it comes down to only $3. And then when we go sign up. So when we sign up, I made it very simple. It's going to be, you know, a full name. You can use whatever name you'd like. So it's very simple. It doesn't ask for a whole lot of questions. Email and then password. After that, you're going to go to create your account and it's going to open up your new closet. Within the closet application itself, we do have different categories of clothes. We have the tops, the jackets, the bottoms, and the shoes. You're able to select the different styles that you'd like. So there is women's styles and men's styles. You're not limited to only choosing one of the styles. You can either choose, hey, I do have women's clothes, I do have men's clothes, and you can combine those all in one closet, which is really neat. So let's go ahead and take a look at the tops. Within the tops, just to give you kind of an overview of what you may see within the app, most of the times it's going to be, you're going to have a description of the app. So right here we have a tank top, and then it gives you a brief color. We're not really focused on what size it is or things like that, because that's not necessary since it's all about what you have. Right here, all our products are going to be within the service, so you don't have to worry about taking pictures of your clothes, which does take a lot of time. No one wants to take everything out their closet, take a picture of it, make sure the lighting's good, and then have to throw everything back. So this way, you just go through, you scroll through the things that you have, you may have, and you click on something that looks similar. Right here, we have our subcategories, so we have tank tops, this one's a green tank top. Say if you're scrolling through, you'd have a bunch of tank tops, red, blue, striped, American. Uh, polo, so polo black, it's gonna be in the polo category. We have button ups, so we have a slim dress fit, so something a little nicer. Or maybe like a short sleeve, something you'd wear on the next day. And then it breaks it down into categories as well. After you've gone through, you've selected everything, you're gonna go to your next. It's gonna take you through all of them after you've already selected what your closet has. It displays in your closet. Pretty simple, and you can even favorite some of your favorite items. Okay. 
and then when we go to the menu, just give you a brief overlook of what we have here. After you've already signed up, you set up your closet, every time you go to the app, it's gonna give you uh, today's look, so maybe the inspiration for today. It gives you a little bit, uh, product of what they look like, and then a little overview of some of the things that they're wearing, so maybe you can incorporate those into your today's look. We do have inspiration, so maybe things you want to upload and be like, hey, these are things that I like. We have the discover to see maybe new things that you can browse, and then we have your profile so you can take a look. The best thing about our app is you can actually set the time zone that you'd like to incorporate. So this is where it comes in with Vogue, where it's able to you select the time zone and it kind of looks into their magazine, into their database, kind of like a Google search, and is able to search the different aspects of styles that were there. And then just to make it simple, it's uh, very simple to use, very neutral colors because the main part of it is your clothing. Hello Sharks. So my team and I are more than capable in making this business successful because we have previous knowledge in project management as well as quality assurance. Uh, as you can see here, this is the monthly number of subscribers we have, May through December. Blue represents yearly subscription. The orange represents monthly subscription, and the gray is monthly total, and as you can see, it's rising exponentially. A direct competitor we face is an app called Stylebook, where you can virtually take pictures of your current clothing, upload them onto an app, where it picks out your outfit for the following day. Uh, but what makes this different is that this app uh, draws inspiration from past trends and where you're able to bring it to life. An indirect competitor we face are our current stylists. And some barriers entering into this industry are marketing, sponsoring, and customer service team. And that is why we are here today. So for our target, our, our target audience, we're uh, targeting people born from 1990 into the 2000s. Um, so yeah, we are target audience. Um, so millennials and the next generation are more interested in this type of app. For our return on investment, we want to return about 15% of our uh, revenue every month that we make. And so it will take us about 17 months to return our initial loan. And what we will spend our investment on will be our customer service team. Right now we are the current customer service team. We are doing the nine to five, answering emails on our own. So we want to outsource our customer service team to the Philippines and we're going to need a quality assurance team to oversee that while we're over there. We're going to need money for that. And we are also a tech company, so uh, most of our um, users and subscribers are going to come from people viewing our ads. And so we need more money for our marketing. So for our marketing, like I said, we're going to be targeting, we're going to be doing ads mostly, and we're going to be targeting three specific applications, which are Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And so we have limited funds, so right now what we want to do is target a specific time. And so for tech engagement, we looked for the time that we're going to find the most revenue, I mean, we're going to find the most views, and it's going to be a 5% higher charge to advertise during this time, but we'll get 20% more views. And so where we see the darker colors here for each time period is where we're specifically going to get more viewers to view our ads. So those are the times that we're going to target. Um, so the price of our product, we're going to do $3 if you subscribe annually, and that's going to be $36 a month guaranteed. It's seven dollars if you choose to subscribe month to month. Um, for our promotions, we want to get more into subscription boxes, give ads, put our advertisements in there, so people know more about our company, and um, they can get a one-week free trial from there. And we hope to generate more users who fall in love with the app and then continue a subscription from that portion. So, like I said, our marketing plan. Um, is ad based and so we're just going to keep on using applications that our target audience are using so those three apps so that we can get them to see our product more well. um, for the finances so we're paying for things like discovery and wire facing 
we're paying for a quality assurance team, a cybersecurity team, um, software developers. Um, we're also paying for PayPal. We, to pay for our app, we're using PayPal and Apple Pay, so we have to pay a price to use the business aspects of that. And so that's gonna cost us, for all of our um, monthly costs, it's gonna cost us about 700 and, it's going to cost us about $750,000. No, it's going to cost us $450,000, I'm sorry. And for our generate our revenue with our $250,000 loan, our monthly and annual subscriptions, and with our ads that we're putting into our product, it's gonna, we're going to revenue about $715,000, which gives us a profit about Seven hundred. I mean, two hundred and forty thousand dollars. So as you can see, our monthly revenue is growing at a exponential rate. It's we don't have any dips or downs. We are continuously growing up. And as you can see, our customer, our overall company growth has started down here. And in the months that we've been in market, it's grown about four hundred. And you're showing that it's four hundred fifty thousand dollars for your monthly expenses. That's what I that was showing, right? Oh, yearly. That was your yearly expenses. Yes. Okay. Come back. I can do some math. Come back. Uh, so, do you have a free version of the app? You have a free trial, subscribe. a free free trial for three day, and if you get code through one of our partner brands, then you can get a one week free trial. Okay, so with that, so if I'm the customer, I'm paying like $36 a year to have a, a monthly subscription. I still get ads, even though I'm paying for Is that correct? Um, yes, they're like little ads on the banner, a uh, little banner ads at when you first open the screen. Um, I have like a functionality question. I, I may have missed this. Um, when I open my profile, how does it know what clothing I have? Did I input that? Or was it you that? select everything. So, so, <laughs> so I select everything like it already is coming to me. Like so how here's a random white button up. Okay, I have no, So how it works is, uh, so what I displayed right here was just uh, kind of an overview to show you the different products that it has. But say when you're actually within the app, you click on tops, it's going to take you through the subsection and it does have a filter where you can filter through the different options. So think about it as if the first page, you're scrolling through it, it's just going to be, like say it's just tops and you click on t-shirts, it's just going to list, it's going to be uh, just a bunch of t-shirts. It's going to be white shirt, black shirt, all types of colors, and you're going to scroll through them to see which one matches what you probably have. Okay. So the closest fit to what I have is not an exact thing. Yeah, because because our thing was like we don't want you to have to take pictures of all your stuff, and it takes up space on your phone, or okay. Okay. you have to pay for extra space for a cloud. So, so it's like, you're going to go, oh, I like the '50s era, and then you're, it's going to show everything from the '50s era, and you're going to say, oh, I don't have that, but I'm going to go buy that. It's, Tomorrow. Right. Um, yeah. Can you do that though? Can you do the machine learning program or just software? Just software. Okay. Do you plan to add that? And so, sorry, do you have something? <laughs> oh, I'm just going to add So, just on the kind of the functionality as well, like, so it's items that you currently own or is this items that you are potentially going to purchase? It's going to be your closet, so it most likely be things that you already have. So the best thing to do is for the app, so when you're going through your closet, you're going to set it up as if it's the stuff that you already own. So you are inputting every item that you And so then how does it Services. Like is the ad whole way more or yeah. is it like it was the 
Well, where's where the so the for a month from um, advertisements, it's only about four thousand five hundred dollars, but we get most of our revenue from um, yearly subscriptions, and then it will be from monthly subscriptions. How many subscriptions have you sold? Say, uh, 
not know somebody else's user feedback. feedback. Yeah, yeah, user feedback. Yes, of course. So that's the thing about it too as well, is our app's still developing. Uh, so something uh, about that is passion is something that's always uh, getting inspired by different things. So when someone, uh, we do have a filter system, so when someone does give us feedback, it's going to be filtered out through different sections. So if someone's like, hey, I want this, or hey, I want this, when it starts reaching the level of priority, then we're going to start working on that and seeing how we can integrate that into our app. Um, if, if most of your income is coming from subscriptions, why have you decided to still do ads? So a lot of paid subscription services, part of what you're paying for is that you don't have to deal with ads anymore. Um, so can you go into what you're using? So most of the ads are going to be things like uh, a lot, pretty much like other clothing companies. So it's going to be a lot of retail companies like Nordstrom. So it's going to be expanding towards them being able to product, uh, being able to sell their products or being able to say, hey, you know, we, we're going to have a sale on these jeans and things like that. So it inspires people to say, hey, maybe I'm trying to expand my closet. It also so helps like pay for the free subscription that we offer. When we ask for a free subscription for a week or three days, Features 
Use the gavel. We appreciate the offer. Thank you very much, everybody.